this is Adriana from Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm here bringing you a Strum Along story time on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. And today is just going to be a quick intro video. In case you've seen our Strum Along story times, you have a ukulele at home, but you're not quite sure where to start. We're going to go over the parts of your ukulele, how to hold it, how to tune it, and then how to play a few chords. So to start, this is the body of your ukulele here. And this line here, that's a bit raised that the strings are over, that is the bridge. And then this hole here is your sound hole. And going up here is the neck. And you'll see some lines, and these are the frets. Each line is a different fret of your ukulele. And then over those frets are your strings. And the strings are numbered one through four. And we start at one is the one farthest away from you. So at the bottom there's string one, then two, then three, and four is the one closest to your face. And this is the head of your ukulele. And as you can see, it has these shiny metal parts. These are your tuning pegs. And like I said, we'll go over tuning later. And that's, those are the main parts of your ukulele that you'll need to know to start. And next we're going to discuss holding your ukulele. Like you can see here, I have a strap which I use. And a strap is great because it leaves both of your hands free, your right hand to strum comfortably, and your left hand to press on your strings and frets without having to worry about holding up the weight of your ukulele. So if you have one, that's great, you should use it. But if not, don't worry, you'll be okay and you'll still be able to play comfortably. So if you don't have a neck strap, there's a couple of ways that you can hold this. Sometimes I like to just cross my left leg over my right and rest the ukulele right there on my leg and have it against my body here. Or else, you can take your right hand and your right forearm and then squeeze that ukulele against your chest. And an important thing here is, you want that sound hole in the body of the ukulele facing out at your audience. So a lot of beginners like to see what they're doing. So they might turn the ukulele up so that they can see their frets and their strings. But if you're doing this, people can't hear you and your wrist will get really uncomfortable and sore. So you want to have that instrument flat against your body facing out. So you'll squeeze the, the body of your ukulele, can you do that, and hold it up across your chest without using your left hand. And then I want, taking your left hand, I want you to give me a thumbs up, and then press that thumb on the back of the neck of your ukulele, and that can slide up and down, but we're going to start with it kind of at the top of the head, just under the head, but on the neck of the ukulele. And then you want to have your fingers free to press on the frets and strings. And when you're pressing, you want your hands nice and curved and you want to press on the top so that you can't even see my fingernails here. And you'll press really hard so that when you can see maybe where I was pressing on the strings there. So you want to press hard enough that it almost leaves a mark on your fingers. And a very important next step is tuning your ukulele. And even though it's not fun to learn how to tune, it's really important because you could be doing everything correctly. You could be having your holding it perfectly and having your fingers on the right fret and strumming nicely. But if you're out of tune, it won't sound good. So tuning is very important. Uh, I use for tuning an app on either my phone or any device. There's also tuners that you can find online. But if you happen to have a keyboard at home, you can tune using that as well. So we're going to tune starting at string four, and that's the string closest to your face, remember? And that is the note G. I'm going to play it here. That's G, and then I'm going to play it here, and my tuner will show me if I'm out of tune. And actually, I'm pretty close here, but just to show you, I'm gonna drop that pitch down. Or, oops, I went up. And then bring it up until that tuner shows you right in the middle and it'll be the color green to show you that, yep, yeah, you're 
you're at a 390, which is where we want to be. I'm a little bit flat. And when tuning, I find it always good to loosen and drop the pitch and then bring it up because your ear can actually naturally hear when a pitch is too low more than it can hear when it's a little bit too high. So always just start by dropping that pitch and then bringing it up. And then the third string, so the next one we do, are going to do is C. And that one's a little flat. I'm gonna flatten it even more and then just start bringing that pitch up. where we want it to be. There we go. So our second string is E. And the last string, or our string, first string, A, the one farthest away from us. There you have it. You should have your four strings, G, C, E, A. And then you're ready to start playing. So for our first chord, we're going to start with C, which we're going to take our ring finger, so that's our one, two, third finger, and place it on the first string, third fret. So right here. And before you play out your chord, just check every string to make sure it plays out clearly. And if you're not pressing on that string hard enough, it's going to make a tinny plucking sound like. And so if you get a sound like that, that means you're not pressing on your string hard enough. So press down, there we go, and that's C. And the second chord we're going to learn is G7. You're gonna start by sliding that third finger, your ring finger, up a fret. So it's on the first string, second fret. Then take your middle finger and place it on the one, two, third string, second fret. That'll look like this. And then you have your index finger left that's going to be on the second string, first fret. So there is my first fret. And then once again, we're going to check every single string to make sure it plays out. And if you're not pressing down hard enough, once again, you're going to get just this tinny sound. Doesn't sound very good. And our third chord we'll be learning today is F. So you'll leave that index finger where it was on the second string first fret. And then you're going to take your middle finger, so that's your second finger, and place it on the fourth string, so the one closest to you, second fret. And try every string. And that's enough chords to play a lot of songs, including our goodbye friends, which I'll play saying goodbye now. Goodbye.